Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to make a small uh, puzzle game in uh, Flash. It's all about uh, uh, unjumbling a jumbled world or unscrambling a jumbled world. So is the prime object objective actually creating a game? No, it isn't. Uh, this game has been used as an example to teach you a lot of action script. So my main purpose when I was actually making this game was to uh, convey uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, how to actually work with action script because this uh, you know this specific example uses the arrays it uses the uh, math dot random method uses the uh, math dot floor method uses the timer event right uh, so uh, it uses the get child by name method as well so I thought it was a perfect example to uh, you know uh, pass on a lot of uh, action scripting to you uh, before I actually talk uh, more, let me first show you a publish preview by hitting Control Enter on the keyboard. So you see uh, here we have the question or the um, jumbled up word and you need to answer very quickly. You need to hurry up before time is over and uh, you see that that's yet another word that you need to unjumble. This word is computer. Now this one, can you guess it? People should be walnut right now the words have been picked up randomly by the script <coughs> excuse me this one is chocolate now there are chances that a word will get repeated immediately after uh, displaying itself in which case you have the skip button to skip that word okay now you see the word chocolate has been repeated so I can just click on the skip button it will throw another word now the word walnut has been repeated as well I can skip that too now can you guess this word people this one is coconut this one is either lemon or melon uh, walnut it's a repeat let me skip it can you guess this one? Rabha. And this one, people? All right. So uh, I'm sure you have the uh, idea how this uh, game actually operates. But as I said, uh, the main purpose is not creating uh, this game. The main purpose was to teach you action script and a lot of it. Because let me open up the actions panel. As I said, uh, we have a timer event out here. We work with arrays. We work with math dot floor method of the math class. We work with math dot random uh, method of the math class. Uh, we work with delay in a timer. Uh, we see a very important method, which is get child by name method right very very uh, useful method and then uh, we work with the timer event but specifically a timer complete event as well right and we see how to add an event listener to a button too um, <coughs> in part number one of this tutor tutorial which is this uh, part I'm just gonna explain you the construction of the stage the scripting and the explanation will be carried over to the next part as you can see out here people we have two layers the top layer is the action script 3 layer the bottom layer is everything else and by everything else I mean uh, all these text fields that you have this button that you have and there are three blocks you see this is block number one this is block number Two, and this is block number three let me say control Z control Z control Z control Z to reset everything all right uh, so you see all these three blocks which have an instance name of block one block two and block three the one at the bottom is block three uh, respectively are actually movie clips and I, I'm sure you can actually draw them out using the rectangle tool you can also draw out uh, these text fields as well the one on the left which says uh, unjumble this word is a classic static text field you can uh, draw it out using the text field and use these options to change it to classic and static the one on the right which has an instance name of question is a classic and dynamic text field okay let's remove block number one 
this uh, text field is again classic and static the word hurry up is classic and static let me say control z uh, let's check out uh, the word under this block which says uh, time is almost out is again classic and static let's say control z okay and the word under the third block this word timeout which uses this uh, font ds digital has been embedded as well it's bold the font size is 32 color red is classic and static but the one on the right hand side which has an instance name of answer uh, is a classic dynamic text field let me say control z okay this uh, button has been pulled out from the buttons component uh, out here okay has an instance name of skip all right see uh, out here on the timeline we have 72 frames uh, but the way the action script has been written does not allow the playhead to rush uh, from the first to the second frame because we have used a stop function right at the top out here okay but then uh, there is a reason why I have uh, these 72 frames which are which will look uh, when we uh, actually reach uh, in you know into part number two right so people drawing out three blocks giving them instance names and turning them into movie clips uh, naming them block one block two block three shouldn't be too difficult you can just use the rectangle tool right click and say convert to symbol keep the registration point top left all right pulling out this button and give it a giving it a label skip shouldn't be too difficult either drawing out a handful of uh, classic static text field shouldn't be difficult for you at all if you have uh, worked with flash earlier right and uh, drawing out two uh, classic dynamic text fields naming them question and answer shouldn't be difficult either as far as the uh, action script is concerned the good news is that this script can be downloaded from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads right uh, i will now terminate this tutorial let me hit control enter once again and show you a published preview render out the swift and test the movie we always call it a movie whether it's a movie or, or not so this word is cooling this is rubber this is coffee this is flash uh, this is computer right so uh, people i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so far as i said the main purpose was not gaming the main purpose was not having fun with games the main purpose was to deliver a lot of action script to you to show you what is action script how does it work and show you some real nice tricks right so people I'll hope uh, that you'll join me in the next part. You have a very good day. Bye-bye. Peace.